So before the video starts, I want to thank you all for 120 subscribers. I really appreciate it and thank you guys so much. Also, I sincerely apologize for long absence. I've been busy with my family and the craziness of the coronavirus. Um, but yeah, stay safe and enjoy the video. I just installed Linux Mint on my Chromebook. I'll show you how to. Step 1 is enabling your Chromebook into developer mode. I will not show that on camera, but I will have a couple of videos in the description below on how to enable developer mode. Now that we are in developer mode, you're going to want to open up Crush, Chrome OS's terminal. To open up Crush, you want to hold Ctrl, Alt, and T simultaneously. Great, now we're in Crush. This brings us to step 2, which is modifying the BIOS. To modify your Chromebook's BIOS, you want to type exactly as what I type in. So type in shell, cd, semicolon, bash, less than symbol, parentheses, curl, https, john lewis ie, slash flash, underscore cb, underscore fw, dot sh, and then parentheses, and type enter. There we go. So here what this says is basically just telling you, hey, uh, whatever you're doing, just uh, be in mind that it's all it's your responsibility to whatever happens to your Chromebook. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and press enter and then press one. And then it's gonna go ahead and download and you know, do whatever it has to. And then type this, type this thing right here, exactly. This is just to make sure that you don't type, uh, you don't like accidentally, you know, activate the BIOS and stuff like that. So let's type it in, and it's gonna go ahead and do the stuff. So it should say success and good. Your cellus is R R W a legacy slot was written successfully. You can hopefully safely reboot. So you wanna go ahead and do that. You're gonna wanna have, gonna have it. I mean, you're gonna wanna turn it off. So you want to power on your Chromebook and do Control D, which is going to bring us to Chrome OS. And now, you want to do Control Alt F2 or else Control Alt Forward um, Forward key, like the arrows key. There you go. So now you want to type in Chronos, and then exactly what I type: sudo cross system dev underscore boot underscore USB equals one dev underscore boot underscore legacy equals one and press enter and now you just want to do sudo power off and it should power off your Chromebook so now that I have my bootable USB stick connected into my computer, I'm gonna go ahead and type in, uh, hold Control L. And I wanna press escape. And I'm gonna select my boot device. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on one, which is my USB drive. There we go successfully gotten Linux Mint onto the computer. So now go ahead and click on the install button. It should be on every Linux operating system. I want to go through the setup process. So we get this message, you just want to go ahead and click on yes. So now, you want to go ahead and click on erase disk and install Linux Mint or whatever operating system you're using. Install now. So congratulations, if you did everything correctly, it should start downloading. So guys, after the installation finished, it took around 15 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and restart your computer. So just click on restart now it should shut down your computer. So again, do control L. And 
then click on MMC drive, which is hard disk. And as you guys can see, this is the USB. So guys, that's it. We're in Linux Mint. Um, it works. It's working amazing. Um, not, I don't see. I don't feel any stutters. It's pretty snappy. It's much better than Chrome OS, I have to say. Um, but yeah. Anyways, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it, tell me in the comments on how I can improve, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.